All righty, picking up where we left off. Okay, now, before I go any further, let me check my list here, and I can actually go ahead and share that as well. So, my goal for today is really to knock out as much of this as I can. So maybe start the DLC next time? That's kind of what I'm hoping here. So I need to do the Mimic tier in the Forbidden Lands, which we haven't... Technically we've been through, but it, you kind of have to go through a back route to get to it. We have to do the Consecrated Snowfields, Halig Tree, the Mogwin Palace to kill Moog. And then I think I'm going to do Crumbling Fair Missoula. It won't take all that long, honestly. And then we can take out Godfrey, Sir Gideon, and I might save the Elden Beast for now, but we'll see how things go. All right, now there is a talisman that I need to get in the Consecrated Snowfields, and in order to do that, I actually need an item. So let me go ahead and mark... Let me just mark this, that way I remember that's where I was headed next. We actually have to come back over here. to Raya Lucaria. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't... We'll start here at the gate. I think I can go through this entrance. But we will see. Go ahead and swap that over to the better view. Get this adjusted here. Okay. There's actually, so what I'm going for right now is the, the imp ashes, the fanged imp ashes. And I know they're sold by a merchant. I think I actually have to go through that first. All right, so let's try that out. Oh, that takes me to the Bellum Highway. That is not where I want it to be. I know there's a merchant down one of the long pathways out of Raya Lucaria. But it has been a while since I've gone there. Maybe I just didn't go down far enough. Actually, I think it's this way. Maybe. All right, there's the merchant. Well, it's been an age. How can I help? He's got stone sword keys too. I'll go ahead and take all of those. All right, this is what I want: the fanged imp ashes. Might as well grab this cookbook while I'm here. I don't think I need any of these other items, so we're good on that. All right, we're gonna go to round table real quick. I am gonna upgrade them just a little bit. Just to make sure that I don't have any issues with what we're about to do here.
These ashes aren't actually that bad early on. Later on, not so good. Alright, I'm not gonna blow my nine on there. <laughs> Shut up. So we're gonna... We're gonna leave Dung Eater active. And we're gonna switch this to the Fanged Imp Ashes. Okay, and now... Here it is. <clears throat> so we're gonna use the secret medallion. So that it can take us to... the consecrated snowfields. This is one of those things that I used a guide for early on. I had no idea. I even had the medallion, but you actually have to select a different medallion by like moving over on the D-pad or keyboard, depending on what controllers you're using. I had no idea. I actually found this area the first time I did an all boss playthrough, because in order to you get to these bosses, you have to come to this area, obviously. One thing that I, I don't like about this area is there's no immediate grace to hit, not until you get to the other side of this thing. I think what my goal is going to be is just to get to the other grace. How many runes do I have? 27? I don't think that's level up territory. That is some real damage. Uh, do I want the Silver Scarab? I do. It's whatever. Also, this item being this late in the game is really weird to me. Because it increases your chance of finding stuff when you're looting. I'll tell you what, it is really nerve-wracking just standing here in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if that will hit. It will. Come on. There we go. Good. I 
All right, now I'm sure there are items that would help me do this easier. Probably. I think we're just gonna wing it. That is why you should check your corners. Okay, I really hope I have the damage to take this thing out. I think he just healed, which is unfortunate. Well played, he managed to hit me. I mean, I'm doing over- well, that was- wasn't a thousand. Oh, he fucking healed again. This is so bad. I might have to backtrack to this room. Hey, Lord Keeper. And tell him I hope he feels better. Sucks you're not feeling well. Oh, well, thank you. Having both of you here is awesome. I was hoping I had the damage to get through that. I guess I just don't yet. That's okay. I figured those runes were kind of a write-off as it was. I really feel like I should swap these two. We are definitely going to have to boost our mind. Okay. I guess I forgot about that guy. All right. 
Now we're just gonna run for it. Okay, so through that door is the mimic tier. I want to make sure I hit the grace. It really feels like you're using the back entrance here. Or do I have to kill the mimic tier? You know what? The grace might be through that boss door. That's alright. He's not too bad. I think he's even weaker than the one in Siofer River. Hello! We're just both missing here. Alright, so that was the Stray Mimic tier. Also the last boss in the Forbidden Lands. Does this take me back to the very beginning, or does this take me to where the Grace is? Okay. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. I have half a mind to backtrack and get those runes that I lost. Let me see if I can level up first, though. Nope. Alright, so we're in the 1k range right now. Let me go ahead and update this. Excuse me. So that was the... Mimic Tear. Which brings the boss count up to 149. That was like 55k that I dropped. We'll see how bad this is. Okay, definitely not going to go through that. But I would have to. Okay, forget it. I'm not too worried about those runes. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I do want to find a grace out here as quickly as I can, though. Okay, now let me check the map, see if the map shard is visible on here. I don't see it. Okay, we're just gonna put that flag there. And that is number... is that two? That's a two. Okay, I'm just gonna follow that.
Okay, let's see if it's on the map now. It is. Okay, good. So we're gonna grab the map fragment. Plus, when you, once you get to this spot in the consecrated snow fields, the snow kind of eases up a little bit. So let's grab this map fragment, and then we're gonna grab the talisman that I've been needing for this build. Okay, so the talisman is here. So we're gonna start here and then come up this way. There actually aren't too many bosses in this area. I don't suspect it's going to take super long to do this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and summon the Fang Dimps. And I just have to get them to kill each other. I mean, it's a 2v1. They should be winning this really easily, but... <laughs> there we go. All right, so that broke the seal, so now I can come into Albanaric Rise. There we go, that's the mass, or the Graven Mass Talisman. So let's look at the equipment here. I've been rocking one few Talisman as it was. I'll just drop these in. They, they stack, as far as I know. The Graven School Talisman and the Graven Mass Talisman, they stack. I probably could run Blue Dancer Charm with what I'm wearing. Okay, so that tells me the power of my armaments. So let me... So yes, if I were to run Blue Dancer, it would go up. So I think I will do that then. I can swap it out later. So I have Blue Dancer, I have the Magic Scorpion, the Ritual Sword, and the Mass Grave and Talisman. The other one that I could run is the Godfrey Icon. That's when you use charge attacks. So basically it's between this one and the Godfrey Icon. So this enhances charge, spells, and skills, and this enhances, like, all attacks based on your equip load. I think I'm gonna use the Blue Dancer Talisman for now. And then, ultimately, when I start wearing better armor for the DLC, I'll switch to the Godfrey Icon. I think that's the way to do it. Okay. 
All right, bosses, let's start marking them. Okay, so there is... There's a boss here. There's one here. There's a cave here. Hey, Shadows, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by today, appreciate it. There's one here. And there's one, like, right here. Oh yes, and there's one... There's a cave over here somewhere, so I'll just pop this one here. Okay. I forgot you could reset your markers that way. So I'm going to drop that one there, and we'll start with that one. It's going to be like one, two... Let's get started. I've been busy, Diluc. Very busy. I'm sorry I just saw that. I've been doing... doing a lot of thinking. Okay, let's see if we can find this one really quickly. Yeah, Shadows, you've been waiting a long time, hadn't you? I'm glad it finally went through for you. Yeah, that sucks. But, it, it, at least finally it worked out. As best it could, right? I tend to forget about this catacombs. <laughs> so it's been almost a year. That's a long time to have that hanging over you. So the boss room is pretty close, that's good. Let me check the other way first. Okay, I don't think there's much up there, but we're gonna go up there first. Uh-oh. That's right, there's hardly anything in this room. So you still got a few more months to wait for your surgery then. What do you- how do you feel about that?
the only real surgery that I've had, I had my appendix taken out. Which is nothing like what you're going through. Bone... I never had surgery on bones or tendons or muscles or anything like that, just my appendix. I imagine your recovery time is going to be a little bit longer, though. I might have to respec here just to get some more mind going. I was in my early 20s when I had my appendix taken out. My brother's had his taken out too, my younger brother. I know that sometimes that kind of stuff can be, uh, like it runs in the family, genetic. So they had to resuscitate you? Unfortunate. <sighs> I want to look at my stats here. I really need to be able to cast more. I should probably get this up to 30. That's what we're going to do. We're going to respec. Yeah, two shots of adrenaline. I think, yeah, I think. Actually, I don't know if you told me this before. Maybe you have. Two shots of adrenaline. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna resaw... Honestly, if you're sitting at the grace, you should be able to fast travel. You just should be. We're gonna go see Renala and respec here. Okay, so we'll bring this to 30 for right now. We'll bring this up to 30. Need that for the weapon. We'll bring this up to 70 and see where we're at. Can probably leave arcane at 10 for now. I do want to get up to 23. That way when I use the physic, it'll be up to 33.
Hey, Bellaluya, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. So, like, so you were in combat and then you were out and then you remember them waking up in the hospital, it sounds like. Sounds very harrowing. I think we'll drop five here. So we've split the difference on the loss, and then we've gotten our mind up to 30. Okay, we'll see how far this gets us. I think Marines are a special breed. And I have the utmost respect for it, because there's... Even when I was at my prime, there's no way I could have done what you guys do. Dilute, thanks for the gifted sub. Hey, Marmite, how's it going? Um, also, do I have to call you Bella Luya the whole time? Or, like, can I call you Bell? Or is, or Bella, is there a preference that you have? And I will answer your question, I promise. All right, that is a reset. Bella or Bello? Do you have a preference? If not, I'll just say whatever I remember. <laughs> so yes, it is Patreon only for right now. So here's what I'm thinking. I haven't talked to Chris about this yet. So don't quote me on it. I'm thinking because we're getting close to our one year anniversary for the channel. Which will be in October on the 31st. I'm thinking that's when we'll open it up to the public. We'll be around that time period. We would like to do it sooner, but... We've been busy and we're still trying to get it in a workable state. I think it's okay right now. We probably need a couple more mods, to be honest. But we're close. And I think once we hit the one year anniversary of the show, not, you see the Discord hasn't even been out that long. But I think at one year anniversary, we'll, we'll try and shoot for that. That's what I was thinking, like a celebration. Oh, I just boned myself. Maybe I should switch to the... Maybe I should switch to the Godfrey icon. I think right now, we only have... I think we have two mods. I don't, how many people are in the Discord shadows? Do you know? It's like 50 or something, right? 40? It's not that big. Or maybe Lorekeeper knows. Son of a bitch. This dungeon is going to be a huge pain in the ass. I'm I'm so glad though that we respect. I can already tell the difference. We got two mods. We have a uh, gamers for God and hero, and then technically I'm a mod. 
And Chris is too. My timing here is bad. <laughs> Jesus. Uh oh. There is an optimal ratio. I don't know what that ratio is. Yeah, it's like 50. That's what I thought. Uh-oh, didn't want to go in. We're definitely going to need some, though. And I think, at least in the beginning, most of our mods are going to come from Patreon just because they've been on the, the server for a while. Okay, do we play that right? Yeah, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> That's true. Hey, Admiral Teletubby. I honestly, I don't know how big it's going to be once we open it up. Because it could get pretty unruly really quickly. I mean, 50 to 100 seems pretty manageable. 1,000 to 5,000? That might be a little bit harder. <laughs> the other thing too is, is I've been talking to Chris about this. Technically right now, the mod is not 18 plus, but I'm thinking we're gonna have to make it that way. So we just don't want to have to mess with worrying about miners getting involved in stuff they shouldn't be involved in. I don't think we have many, if any, miners on the, the Discord channel right now. I don't think we do. That's true. No, like, the people who are in there now are great. No complaints. You're right, it's gonna be the people who come in later. Alright, I really don't wanna- Oh, I should've grabbed my runes. Fuck. It's whatever. Okay, that was a good hit. That was a good hit, too. I don't have any mana or any 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 health pots. This sucks. I don't want to reset this dungeon. Honestly, I think keeping it the age of majority is just the smart play. I just think it is. I don't have anything against kids. I've actually worked with children before. I think they're great. But it's like... It's just a lot more to worry about that I don't want to deal with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm not your parent, and I'm sorry if your parent isn't taking the level of interest in you that they should. Here... Are my runes just gone? I can't, I mean, I don't have enough, I don't have enough health. Someone breathes on me wrong and I'm dead. I have to reset. 
sucks. Maybe I did grab my runes. Well, I was hoping this dungeon wouldn't take this long. Let's look at my flask allocation. We're gonna take one more red here. No worries, Marmite. I appreciate you hanging out. I need to be as efficient, efficient as I can here. Oh, I think I can level up. Let's level up real quick. I need to be as efficient as I can here. Okay, that should give me a little bit more damage. I think I have enough mana right now. What a bitch. I really hate those things so much. Okay, so that should still be... Okay, good. Okay. The other thing that sucks too is that the ritual swords, like if I just take chip damage, the ritual swords talisman just doesn't work. We're just gonna switch to the Godfrey icon. I knew that was going to kill me. <laughs> I'm not a big drinker either, Shadows. I actually, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I actually went to a bar to drink. I have no memory of it. Like, I know I've been many times in the past but I could not tell you when I've actually gone to imbibe alcohol anytime recently I think I've told this story before it's because uh, I used to get awful 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 hangovers I mean like I would shut down for two days because of a hangover hangovers And I was like, this shit just ain't worth it. I wouldn't want to mess with you either. <laughs> I know you mean business. <laughs> Okay, we're already doing better.
That's not too bad. Although, <laughs> I've never been in, in a single bar brawl. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And if someone's being unruly and you're helping keep the peace, right? Okay. Alright, so now I gotta kill this clean rot knight that's down here. Uh, let's let's not forget about these guys. I don't know how he got me, but whatever. That's another big boy. I think these these knights are priority because I know there's two or three of them. And I want to make sure I have enough mana to take them out. Are you serious? That's... That's ridiculous. I can see why you felt like you had to take care of things. Dang. Okay. I have to knock the pillar back down. Which I can do with Loretta's great bow. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Things are moving a little bit slow right now, but should be picking up shortly. I am in the consecrated snowfields. It's one of the catacombs that's up there. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> You're constipated. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm getting tired of this catacombs. It's a lot of just gotcha bullshit. Like, I really want to run through here. The thing is... I don't think I'll make it very far if I attempt to just run. No worries, Dilute. Okay, we're gonna go after minimal enemies here. So I don't want to be doing this for an hour. Come on out! Come on! 
Come on. There you go. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I hit it. Okay, I hit it at least. Look at that. Like, he just comes barreling out of there. And he's not even the worst enemy up here. Can I skip this one? There's another clean rot knight over in that room. Okay, I... It, I think we're just gonna ignore that, pretend it doesn't exist. Okay, I am gonna reset though, get my flask, and then we're gonna take this boss out. So dumb. This is taking way longer than I wanted it to. This is technically boss two of how long we've we been going? Almost an hour. I would say that's probably the choice of people who are calm. <laughs> but I wouldn't know. Ugh. I feel like I'm getting trolled just super hard here. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're almost done with this. We're almost done with this. Well, if I had to break the 100 death mark, I'm glad it was in this dungeon. <laughs> it feels like an appropriate dungeon for that to happen. Like, I just wanted to reset. Captain, thanks for the two months. Appreciate it. You can join us while I, uh... <laughs> Get very sad in this dungeon. That's a big boy. Hey, look how stupid this is. Like, this boss is gonna go down super quick.
But I've been in this dungeon for probably 30 minutes. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, that brings us up to 150 though. That's good. And that was the putrid Grave Warden Duelist. There actually is another boss in this dungeon that I'm not looking- not in this dungeon, in this area that I'm not looking forward to. It's stupid dual, duo knight's cavalry. I'm probably gonna save them for last. I was smacking him pretty hard. Alright, so we'll unmark this. See, this is two... I think- I think Estella's in this one. Whatever, we're heading there next. <sighs> Casting time does make a difference. Shadows, it really does. The more sorceries you can cast, the more damage you can output to the enemies. We're just to pretend that none of that exists. I still think we're gonna get to Melania today. I believe. I, I believe. Yeah, this is the dungeon with Estelle, if I remember correctly. I need to level up too. Have you seen any of this, Chris? Because you just got to the Consecrated Snowfields, right? <sighs> Fuck, it doesn't matter. I think I have enough vigor for right now anyway. No worries, Shadow, take your time. So you got you got the magma worm, alright. Okay. If I remember correctly, this doesn't take that long to do. I can remember to drop down in the right spot, we'll be fine. That was so close. I don't know how he knocked me out of that cast. I feel like I got robbed there. Boys throwing rocks at me. Somber eight, that's good. That's a good find. drop. It's probably another worthless item that looks like it should be valuable. Okay, where is...
There we go. Okay. He's not a real boss, so we're not going to really fight him. We are, however, going to reset before we do fight the actual boss. Which is Estelle. I did see a couple of people complaining about this online. That they reused this boss. I'm sure there's some lore story reason to explain it. It does seem a bit lame. Because Estelle is just so iconic when you find, find them during Ronnie's quest. That's decent damage. Uh-oh. I have to avoid the grab, which is the worst attack. As bad as that is, the grab is worse. Okie dokie. I don't know how they didn't kill. That sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. <sighs> the rock mist. The fucking rock mist. It was a kill shot, too. I would have had him. Instead, I had the honor and privilege of doing this again. No, I blame me. I, I could have used a different spell. Wow. <laughs> if only that were the case. What the fuck are you doing? I swear, like, he never hits me with that attack, and then today, twice in a row.
No! Well, that's three in a row for that one. I'm about to baby rage. He's so low. He's so low! <laughs> for fuck's sake. Hey, Goblin, how's it going? Oh my god. Let's, uh, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Give me just a second here. Okay, let's go ahead and level up. I think we're gonna try and get our our int back online, get it back up to eighty, and then we'll. Then actually, I'm probably gonna raise faith to twenty three just so I can start using Hal of Shibjuri. Twenty. If I get it to fifteen. Once I get it to 15, I can start using Golden Val. And that's only because of the flask. Alright, so let's mark this off. And that was Estelle. And that brings us up to 151. Hey, that's Pokemon. That is the actual number of Pokemon. No more, no less, and... If you're my age, you can't convince me otherwise. I think my game just crashed. <sighs> what a fun day. What a fun day. Hey, Salty. Right, Marmite? Exactly. There, there's exactly 151 Pokemon, no more, no less. <laughs> oh, okay then. So let me guess, it's gonna take three or four tries to start Elden Ring back up. Which has happened to me before. Okay, I, I, I will... Yes, I let Missing No slide. Fine, I'll go with 152. I actually had a Missing No back in the day. Come on now, we got it? You know, on the bright side, it doesn't crash as often as Skyrim does. Alright, I don't even want to be in this dungeon anymore. Let's get out of there. I think we will do Magma Worm. That shouldn't go too poorly. I'm not gonna lie though, it might take a try or two.
Okay, stop chasing me. Excellent. I don't know if I'm gonna reach him from here. Not quite. I don't know if that'll hit him. Nope. Okay. Great bow it is. That is no damage. And yes, I know I'm cheesing him a little bit. He can still hit me up here. That was a good hit. Oh, Senpai noticed me. Where are you going? There we go. You know what? People can love cheese even if they are lactose intolerant. I think some of them actually love it more because they can't normally have it. Like a forbidden fruit kind of thing. All right, we'll check him off here in a second. Speaking of which, I did have some cheese today. I made hamburgers. Do I have the keys? Please have the keys. I should. I just bought some. And that was two. Okay, let's see if we can level up. And then we'll check that boss off. Ooh, that's two levels? That's really tempting to just drop them in faith. Fuck it, that's what we're gonna do. Because once I get this to 15, it'll be great. I know people that like love cats and they're allergic to them, they still own them. Okay. So that brings us up to 152. And that was the Great Worm Theodorix. So in the Consecrated Snowfield, we have Deathrite Bird. We have Misbegotten Crusader, Ninth Cavalry, which I'm going to do last because I hate that in the Putrid Avatar. Okay. I miss an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. I wonder if there's a way to, uh, to mix in some antihistamines with your food. Like, just bake it right into the cheese or whatever. You know what I mean. Isn't there, like, a product you can take, too, if you're lactose intolerant? Like, you take it right before you have dairy and then you're fine? That's a tankier boy. Thought I was out of range. I was not. I'm dead. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Ugh. 
I'm playing like Chris. What's wrong with me? I mean, <laughs> no, Chris is really good. I actually got to watch him fight Melania for the first time the other night. It was his first Melania fight. And I had the honor and privilege of being there for it. I'm just gonna run. How many times have you said that in your life, Chris? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm not being judgmental, I'm just... <laughs> just... <laughs> We're just gonna rush this dungeon. There's a lot more to it. I don't think there's anything important in here that I can remember. We get to fight a bunch of jellyfish. Oh, and we're one-shotting. That's good. That is good. And maybe we can save some time here. That sounds like my cardio, honestly. Because my cardio is garbage. Okay. Like, oh yeah, I was incredible. For 30 seconds. How does the saying go, though? Like, anybody can do anything for one minute? So like, push yourself really hard for one minute. I'm not a doctor, by the way. This isn't medical advice. It's just something that I've heard. It's like that high interval training, high intensity interval training. I think works on that principle. I'd like to drink my flask. Thank you. Oh, no. And you can do it with any high intensity cardio, right? From my understanding, like even if you're using an elliptical, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like treadmills and just jogging outside, like they fuck my knees up pretty bad. But I think an elliptical would be a good choice if I were to get back into that. I actually, so to be fair, I did, this was years ago. I did try it and I did try it on a treadmill and I stopped because after a few weeks, like my knees were jacked up. And I was taking, a uh, glucosamine? I was taking glucosamine to help with my knees, and it still was too much to handle. I am... 3k short?
I don't think I did that correctly. That's nah, good enough. Okay. Faith. Let me load this spell up. I think the physic is already... No, the physic is not set up for it. Because I would need to be using the faith tier, which I should have. It's lightning, fire... I gotta have... Okay, I gotta have faith. I, I've gotta have the faith tier. It's right here. Okay, we, we'll wait though. Actually, let me check Golden Vow. Sit down. Let me check Golden Vow here. Golden Vow is 25. Okay. Yep. So. Once I get to 15, then I can load up Golden Vow. Once I get to 23, then I can load up Howl of Shibiri. Yeah, I was a little off on that one. That's okay. I can check that one off too. Okay, so that was the Misbegotten Crusader, which brings us up to 153. We'll go ahead and save that. Also, chat, I don't know if y'all noticed, um, I made my picture a little bit smaller today. My camera I made it a little bit smaller. I've been watching back the other VODs, and I was like, I probably should be just a hair smaller. I left the text the same size, though, because I'm fucking blind, and I want to make sure that people can read it. Alright, we're going to go hit the Avatar. So after getting out of that first catacomb, things are going much, much better. Just random damage. I don't think I can go this way. You know what? I'm going to farm y'all later. Many things chaotic. Many things. <laughs> okay. Come on now. Got confused there. This guy should go pretty quickly. We've got the damage. Okay, so let's mark that off. That was the putrid avatar. 
That brings us up to 154. Okay, the death right bird is... The uh, mausoleum that shoots at you is right here. The death right bird is here. Which means we're probably gonna die doing this. Let me see if I can level up. You hate the death right bird? Just use holy damage. Forehead. <laughs> All right, we need one more level. By the way, I am now mentally writing this 42k runes off. They're not even in my inventory as far as I'm concerned because I'm probably going to lose them. Okay, so I'll just make a marker there and then a marker there. A 42k runes? No, I don't have any. I'm not... Oh, okay, now I'm getting invaded. That's right. I forgot. We get invaded. I think there's actually two or three invasions in this area. I am gonna hit the other one later, when I go to Moog's Palace. Do you know how to get to Moog's Palace from this area? I know you like to do the invasion with the white mask guy. But do you know how to get to him from this area? By the way, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure you hit this grace first before you try and deal with that. Because if you die... You gotta go all the way back. <laughs> no, sit back down. <laughs> Thought he had me. Okay, we don't need these anymore. So let me swap this out with Latena. We should be able to summon Latena, right? Maybe I've missed part of her quest. Anyway, I know you summon I'm not worried about it, because, uh... We're not doing quests, really. We're just doing bosses. But this is the end of Latena's quest is right here. You summon her, which I can't right now, for whatever reason. And that completes that. I am, however... We're gonna swap this out for... My Tish is at three. I need to level up Rolo too. This is going to be extremely important. And I need about 60k. Let me check. 35, 55. Oh yeah.
that should be a level. Or close. Okay. That is perfect. Alright, so let's change our flask now. We're leveling up, people. We want the faith tier. We want the magic tier. And then for our spells, we want Golden Vow. I'm not even using Glenstone Pebble, so we'll ignore that. I think we're gonna do Glint Blade. That's good for some enemies. We're gonna do Night Comet, obviously, because that's what our build is. I still want to have Rock Sling up. And then also Loretta's Great Bow. And then as soon as we get up to 23, then we're going to add in Hal of Shibiri. Okay, a 4k rune sitting there. I don't want this thing shooting at me while I'm doing this. Dead. Ooh, no. Like, surely, <laughs> surely we've got enough of those. I'm not even going to use it. I just don't want it shooting at me the entire time. Okay, we're going to take this to Nightfall. Okay. So my goal here is to cheese this boss. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get him to spawn. And we're going to come back up the cliff and then just... Shoot at him from up here. That was a somber nine, by the way. Now, because Golden Vow requires 25 and I'm only at 15... I have to drink the flask before I can I can do it. So buffing from now on will be involved drinking the flask. And then swapping to the seal. There it is. Wonderful. He's just going to stand there and look at me. Okay, I'm just making sure we're doing damage. You have just enough time to target and then activate the ability. So 
Somehow that missed, but okay. That's unfortunate. That's funny, I got the stun on him. Easy peasy. And, and we're getting another level out of that. That's good. And just like that, we are mostly done with this section. Okay, I think before I'm gonna I finish getting this to 23, we're gonna get the other stats back up. So let's drop that into intelligence. That was the death right bird, which leaves us with the fucking knight's cav. We're gonna do that one next. I'll take care of knight's cav. So that brings us up to 155. I am 23k short. I want to get that level. Because I have a feeling I might die to the Knight's Cab a couple times. It's 25. I don't know, it's 15. 22. That'd be really close. We are 200 short. That's 2k. Alright, we'll, we'll find... We'll find a, a, a squishy to... to get rid of real quick. It did go pretty fast. Oh, I mean, I again, there's a lot more to explore. that I'm not exploring. <sighs> Damn. How much damage does this do? This is a little bit bigger than the enemy I wanted to kill, but I don't want to get close enough to the Knight's Cav. Because we're going to fall back and level up. Just, let's just get to the soft cap of 80. Okay. <sighs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. There we go. All of a sudden, like my allergies have started acting up. Ah. Can I do this before the flask wears off? Probably not. By the way, that went fairly well for me. That was close. I did not know you could do that. That was weird. He just like stopped moving. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Okay, not my proudest. Not my worst. <laughs> Definitely not my worst. Okay, that was the Knight's Cav. So that is officially all of the enemies in the Consecrated Snowfields. Thank you. All right, now we get to go to the Halig Tree. My day is going very well, thank you. Except for, like, my eye just dying during that last fight. All of a sudden, I was, like, getting allergies, and my eyes started running, and it got itchy, and... But we're good. We are good. 
Okay, let's go ahead and mark this. Alright, so considering all the deaths that we had in the first catacombs... We managed to do this entire area in under two hours. I just got an armor set. I don't know if that's the one you're talking about. And I'm going to pick up the, the black knife armor set up here, too. The black knife one? Everything that I have is going to be way too heavy for me. I'm rolling light load too? Wow. I think I am going to switch the armor up here in a little bit. Let me get through this section. <sighs> Fucking turn around there. Because the black knife set is really cool looking, I think. But let's get to the Halig tree first. So y'all will get to see how I do this puzzle. Now, even though I know what I'm doing, there's still a good chance I'm gonna die doing this. Because of those archers, so we'll see how well we do. See if we can do it on our first try. It also does not seem like the black knives can climb ladders. Okay, okay. We're fine. Okay, I think I pushed her back far enough. No. I just pushed her back to the spot where she can shoot over the ledge and I can't see her. Come on. Uh oh. Okay, 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 okay. Hopefully, I've displaced her enough.
Torch 2. Honestly, this section, once you learn the pattern, it's, it's not too bad. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, so now I gotta get to that torch right over there. See where Tay Tay's head is? It's right there. We stay on the roof as much as we can. All right, that's Torch 3. Okay, now for 4. And 4 is just right up the middle. That's fine. Oh, shit. Okay. Well played. Light it, please! Right. We're just gonna panic roll until we warp out of here. <laughs> First try. First try. Alright, new area. New area. We'll come back to get to the Moog Palace after we take care of Loretta and... Melania. Which reminds me. I'm gonna hit this grace. I'm gonna head back to the round table hold. Because I need to upgrade Rolo. As high as I can take him. Okay, come on. You know, it, do, uh, it does not matter how many times I've been in here. I never go into the correct room the first time. Okay. How big can we make this boy? I think if I get that bell bearing, which is probably going to kill me, the one in the Halig tree, I could take this up to 10 maybe. Getting Rolo to 10 before Melania would be great. Let me see what I have available here. Ooh, I can actually offer some. Okay, so this is a six. So the next one should be seven, eight, nine. Wait, so I can get Rolo, if I get that bearing, I should be able to get Rolo to at least nine. Which is exactly, well, it's, it's good enough. I'll go ahead and remove this marker. Okay. I'm writing off the runes that I'm currently holding. They don't exist, I'm not worried about them. Okay, I missed, that's okay, no big deal.
There are quite a few items in these treetops, by the way. I'm not collecting any of them. Bad. Also bad. Miss. I don't remember what that item was, and I will never know in this playthrough. Okay, let's see if I remember the fastest route through this bullshit. Alright, that's a reset. It's fine. No big deal. This is an this is a boss run. This is not an item run. There's a big difference. I only grab the items that I really need. And if I don't remember what it is for this build, I don't need it. I got the Graven Talisman before he even got on the stream. No, nah, I don't need it. There. Does that make you feel better? You just gonna stand there and take it? What is this? Fuck. Surprise. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. I don't feel better. By the way, this build is a glass cannon build. I'm not designed to get hit. I'm designed to run boss to boss and just take them out in a couple shots. If I wanted to play a tankier build, I'd play a tankier build. Okay, let's try this again. Fucking bitch. Where are you at? Look at how tucked away in this corner he is. Should I not grab this item, Chris? Should I not grab it? <laughs> of course I'm gonna grab that one. If I see orange, I'll go out of my way to pick it up. I'll grab that one too. It's right next to the grace. That's not bad. That was a 12. I guess we'll grab this too. Alright, none of these enemies exist. Don't worry about them. <laughs> That's just poor timing. That's just poor timing. <laughs> Thank you. 
And you're right, Admiral Teletubby. That's why I usually check doors, corners. That's why I have the Wing of Estelle. It's my corner checker. You know what? Fuck you in particular. I was hoping you'd just run through here, but... You know what? You're right. Chris, you are 100% correct. As soon as I kill Loretta, I'm gonna go get it. I'm pretty- I, I know I did one of the Volcano Manor missions. Because I got magma- Roiling Magma. So I sh it should be available to me. F I ran out of stamina! See, the thing is, is I knew when I got this far in the game, this is exactly what was going to happen. I was actually using Assassin's Gambit in my offline playthrough that I'm doing in the DLC. It's great. You just run past all the bullshit you don't want to fight. Okay, well, let's try this again. They do, but you can still grab it from his chair. No, because I was worried about that. So I, I went and checked. I, I know I can still... As long as you do the first Volcano Manor mission, you can do it. All right, we're going to reset at the Grace, and then we're going to go kill Loretta, and then I'm going to go to Volcano Manor. Honestly, I'm glad you said that, because when I was playing offline, I'm like, you know what would be really good in my online build, or my my uh, my streaming build, would be Assassin's Gambit. All right, we're going buffless. I don't want it. I don't want to fuck with him. She's a little out of range here. I'm gonna hit this grace, I'm gonna mark it, so I remember which one it was. I'm gonna level up too, probably, and then we're gonna head over to Volcano Manor real quick. Okay, so we're at 80. We're gonna need to get- we're gonna need to get Vigor up to 40. Okay, that was... Loretta, Knight of the Halig Tree. Which brings us up to 157. Wow, did I forget to... I think I forgot to, to mark one of them earlier. That's okay. It was probably the Knight's Cab, because I did that one last. Okay. Let us...
Yes, Assassin's Gamba. Very, very good. They're still there, too. I feel like leaving this item behind. He is still here. So I harbor even he would any road that we may we hunted and with everything in I am the re we refute. I am the re we refute. Okay. I think I just need to reset the area. We'll figure this out, because I, I know even if he leaves, you can still grab it from his chair. See? Learn skills. Assassin's Gamba. Okay, I uh, let me get that in my inventory real quick. I'll just put it on a regular dagger. Sort chest. Short sword. Surely I have a regular dagger. It would be up here, though. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to round table, because I'm pretty sure I can buy a dagger. Since I'm only using the dagger for Assassin's Gambit, I want it to be as light as possible. I, I'm never- oh yeah, this is the right way. I'm never gonna fight with it, so... Surely she has a dagger for sale, right? Yes. I guess I could just have What's-His-Face do it. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that rolls me over into medium load. Is it time for better armor? Let me get the dagger on there, too. Okay, we're still in medium. We're still in medium. I'm not gonna wear anything on, on the head, though. Okay. <laughs> so, Chris, if you had the choice, what type of load would you prefer to take? <laughs> I don't want to duplicate. I think I just want standard, right? Because I'm not doing any damage. Okay, I can't use it here, but that's okay. Okay, we were at... It's the promenade, maybe? I've been light rolling this whole time.
Oh, is wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't that just a thing with this armor? Because look, you can't hear footsteps. Having both will be covered for sure then. No one's ever going to find me now. Which is not true. They can still see you. Well, Assassin's Gambit does sound too. Which means we get to hear the lovely music and me talking and not hear clunk, clunk, clunk the whole time. So, Chris, I'm wondering, how long did it take you to get to Melania once you got into the Halig tree? I think this armor looks pretty good. I like it. I can't wear the hood because of the memes. Alright, our damage is pretty good. Yes, I'll grab it for you. I'm more concerned about Diluc. You say he's gonna be okay though, I'm glad to hear that. We uh, we got to the Halig Tree. We finished the Consecrated Snowfield, and now we are in the Halig Tree. We've killed Loretta. And now we're- we are heading to Melania right now. By the way, those runes that I have, I don't actually have them. I'll grab it. It's right here. Oh, I'm glad I did. That's a big daddy smithing stone. Okay, 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 okay. This is the not fun section. Mana, mana, need some mana. It does sound serious. I'm, I'm glad he's doing all right. Yeah, blood coming out of anywhere is usually pretty bad. Okay. I think I need to kill this thing and then run through here. Alright, but I have time to buff this time, so we're going to do that. Once you kill this, it doesn't respawn either. I 
I still have to be careful though, because he can hit me through the ceiling and wall. Uh oh. Lord's rune is good. Alright, there's still two really nasty enemies down there. But I think with the Assassin's Gambit... So that's that's what I was doing wrong last time. I, I bet we have no problem. Now as I say that... <laughs> come on. Okay. Wish me luck. I don't even care if I die here. It's not a big deal. Those guys are pretty ridiculous. I'm doing great, Dilute. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'm checking to see how far off from the next level I am. Because we're about to go through a really nasty area. A very nasty area. I just got a Lord's Rune. So I'm 27k short. That's 50. It's too much. So it's 10. That's 24. 25. Okay, we have enough. Okay, I went a little over, but that's not a big deal. Alright, we're just gonna bump that vigor. I don't think we're gonna hit 40 before Melania, but that's a that is okay. Well, we're glad it was nothing serious. And since it is your private medical stuff, I won't mention it again. Oh shit, I don't have blood fucking... <laughs> the, uh, the, the swift step, the bloodhound step, the whatever it is. I think I can get through here. We're definitely going to get rotted, but I'm not concerned about that. I just don't want to get hit by the enemies that are in this bullshit. By the way, I am holding the run button. This is as fast as we go through this. Unfortunate.
So close. Could you imagine attempting to do a deathless run? People have done it. But like, just avoiding simple mistakes like that. I just didn't want to have to do this walk again. That's really what is agitating about all this. And you go the other way. Go away. Ooh, that was... Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll grab this because Chris will have a heart attack if I don't. Okay, I'm going to sit at this grace to reset the rot. Man, what a good call out, Chris. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Like, it doesn't prevent all of them from seeing me, but it prevents a lot of them from seeing me. <laughs> Okay, before we fight Melania, I'm going to hit her Grace first. But before we fight her, I do want to get that bell bearing. So I can level up Rolo. Look how fast we got here, though. Not too bad, right? Okay, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need damage resistance. I need damage resistance because I'm, I'm going to use the flask to do this because this section really sucks. So... There. Okay. And this probably... How many runes do I have? Okay, we're losing 3,000 runes. That's okay. We're going to try and do this in, in one attempt, but... That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. All right, first try. We'll grab what we can while we're down here. Hey, that was a Newman rune. That's not bad. I don't even care about that death. <laughs> All right, let's go level up Rolo. I did. You know, so truth be told, the last time I did this off stream, I must have attempted to get that bell bearing. It had to have been like 12 or 13 times. 
it was bad. Oh, I do need runes though. I can't purchase anything. You know what? We're gonna big daddy spend. We're just gonna pop this. Okay, so... That's a nine. It says I have two of them. It's an H, that's a seven. Okay, maybe I can just level them up then. That bell bearing is a good item to have regardless. Unless you're not the kind of person that plays with summons, which, eh, fair enough. I am definitely a person who plays with summons. Oh, you know why I have those? Because I was running around picking them up. I didn't have them earlier. We can take him to 10. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep going, because I don't know how many time attempts it's going to take to kill Melania. The roots. Okay, there we go. Palic tree roots. All right, we need to fix our flask. We need magic tier, faith tier. I think our spell list is okay. We're not going to use this one at all. We're probably just going to use Night Comet, to be honest. Okay. I don't need this, any of that. Do I swap it out for Ritual Sword? I think so. And we'll, we'll pack a couple more... Health pots, I think. I, I'm pretty sure I have enough mana flasks. We'll try it with five. Okay, those 17k runes don't exist. She's gonna kill us instantly probably on the first attempt because we're gonna watch the cutscene, but here we go. So I don't even feel like buffing to be honest, I will anyway. So chat, how many attempts do you think it's going to take to kill Melania? I'm going to say under 10. Maybe. Fewer than 10. Oh, I wish. Maybe. Last time I did it in three, but I was a higher level. Thank you. We'll see how it goes. I dreamt for so long. My 
flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. She's gonna hard rush me instantly. So I'm thinking hold off on the summon. We're gonna be here for a while, Marmite. <laughs> Probably. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Oh. Shit, I summoned the wrong one. That's okay. So with this build... You want to stay kind of your max distance with Night Comet because as soon as she goes up into Waterfowl, you're running. Although Dung Eater is not a bad option for this fight either. I'm starting to wonder if I need more red, blue flask than I have. Assuming that we have more attempts at this, and we probably will, I'm going to be skipping this, these cutscenes. We'll watch the first one. <laughs> it looks so much like Taylor. <laughs> Clint would love this because my palms are sweaty. Alright, Puppet is dead. She's just her and me now. Honestly, that was extremely close for the first attempt. The mistake honestly was summoning the wrong puppet. I would I think I would have had it. Oh, 
Okay. I'm nervous. But on the surface. <laughs> There you go. Tame that Melania. She's gonna waterfowl him. I mean, go for it. Look at that, he knocked her out of it. Look how, look how good this, this puppet is. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. I thought he was... I thought she was going for the puppet. I sh you know what? You just have to assume the attack is for you. You just have to assume it's for you. So I know better than that. But I did it anyway. I was like, I was confident. Like, now we got this. And I was wrong. Hit her. Hit her. Jesus Christ. Oh, he went after the pup. She went after the puppet. That's good. That's really good. Oh, no. I don't like that attack. I think Melania should get her own counter, to be honest. Hit her! Hit her! That sucks. I knocked her out of his stagger.
And then she went up into Waterfowl and I was too close. Yeah, take your time there, sweetheart. Seriously. There we go. Oh, wow. So what did we learn? We learned that even if she's waterfowling your summon, she can change her mind. Man, she's really idling. <laughs> That's so bad. I didn't even... Like, what is this? Like, her first attack was Waterfowl. Her first attack. What an unlucky roll. too far. Oh no, I hit her. I can't leave that hit her. What a delay. Holy shit. <sighs> she does punish the panic roll. Have you beat her yet, Chris? I haven't talked to you since you started trying to. Attempting.
I'm just missing everything right now. He only tried three times. You gotta pound your head against the wall. Until you do it. Honestly, I feel like we're close. I feel like we're really close. Let's just say that I feel like I'm doing better than I was expecting to at this level because the last time I killed her I think I was over level 200 which means I was doing significantly more damage. Come on Rolo, you actually got a hitter bro. There we go. Yeah, I knew she was going to do that. I think Rolo just saved me there. Did he get a bleed proc on her? Oh, dear lord. You missed! Hit her! Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Rolo's in really good shape. I think if we just kind of let her... Oh, that's bad. Oh, wow. What was this? She did like half her attack there. Rolo's in good shape. If we let him take aggro, I think we'll be fine. And see, I need to pay attention. I'm not even sure how many of those she's doing. It's like five or something. Maybe if I roll towards her. See, as you can see, like, I know how to avoid waterfowl, for the most part. That one... Not so much. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. We definitely kind of want to divide aggro. He's missing. There we go. Okay, this is fine. I'd rather her waterfowl me than him. Fucking shit! I'm alive? 
and she's alive. Can I get- can I, oh shit, I used the wrong flask. I'm so fucked. Like, come on- oh, n come on. Oh my god, she's healing so much. Jesus. That was- whatever happened, she just took a ton of damage. Okay. Interesting. I wish my mana was up. I wish it was up. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> I did break a sweat. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I finally met. Was it really only? Were you counting? Was it nine? Nice. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Your character's good. What level am I? I'm below 150. I'm level 141. We were able to kill her at level 141. Alright. We'll drop the two into Vigor that I needed. Um, We're going to start raising Faith up. We want to get Faith to 23. Oh, whew. I don't think there's any other items in here. I started at 109 deaths? Okay. Alright, let's, uh, before we forget... That was Melania? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that is... So we have killed 158 bosses? All right, I need to head back to the Consecrated Snowfield so that we can get to Moog Palace. And I think this will- because we are going over here somewhere. I think this is the closest one. I had been worried about killing her on stream. Because, uh, like, I, I know, I, I know this is a good build, and I know how to do it with this build, but... As you can tell, sometimes she has her, her own plans. Rolo was clutched, though. He died at the very end, he took the last attack, and then I just finished her off with the last three charged attacks. We are gonna get invaded again. And we're only three hours in, so we're doing- we're doing good. Okay, let's take care of this fucking invasion. This guy annoys the crap out of me, too. Where are you? We're not putting up with sanguine bullshit today. Okay. 
I don't know if you're paying attention, Chris. The teleporter to Moog's palace is around here somewhere. Someone died for my sins. There it is. And that only becomes available when you kill that sanguine. That just... just charged me. I could be on the horse. I probably should be on the horse. Oh. There we go. That's how you avoid dying. Alright, it's the farming section. I'm not gonna do any farming, but this is where it's done. There are also some decent items for, uh, no farming! <laughs> this is the no farming run. This is the boss only run. There are some really decent items here. I am gonna grab some of them. Not because Chris would want me to, but because I want me to. Wow. What a bitch. Ooh. I want the flies too. I I'm not going to use them on this build, but I still like them. I remember back before they got patched. Swarm of flies. It was super busted. Don't mind me, just passing through. This is the map. Okay. Let's get Assassin's Gamba back online. Actually, I could have waited. That's okay. I forgot that Grace was here. Okay. Honestly, good armor choice. I could see Taylor wearing this. Fucker. I think this is a is this a big boy rune too? No, it's Blood Rose. Essentially worthless. Mm, I'm just running through here. I was thinking about summoning, but I'm just gonna run through here anyway.
Oh, fuck. Um... I don't think I went up high enough. Oh no, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, turn around and walk away. <laughs> now, I might die attempting what I'm about to attempt. I do want to get this chest. Okay, good. All right, we're going to reset. And then we're going to head up to Moog. There's something behind the statue. The tall statue. I was going to say, because I went back, I got the... Got the rune behind it, and then I grabbed the chest. I think that's all that's over here. Okay, good. There's no Moog, no Moog cutscene, right? I don't think there is. Okay, we don't need that. Okay. Oh, there is a cutscene. Okay. We'll watch it. This is the DLC gatekeeper. So, chat, this is my plan. We're gonna kill Moog. We're gonna go to Crumbling Fermazula. We're gonna kill all those bosses. Then we're going to go to the Ashen Capital, and we're going to kill all those bosses, except... Except for Radagon and Elden Beast. Once we kill all the other bosses, we're going to start the DLC. I suppose technically I could kill Elden Beast, but I don't know. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our.
broken keyboard. <laughs> he drops a lot of runes, too. This boy drops a lot of runes. <laughs> Don't worry, he's going to get his revenge when we get to the DLC. <laughs> I haven't even attempted the final boss, and it's... Okay, so technically it's... It's in Moog's body, I'll just put it that way. Alright, Faith. 19, so we're four levels shy of Faith to 23. Alright, let's update this. So that was Moog. That takes us to 159. That's also why I'm waiting to uh, start the DLC. We're not going to talk to this character, whoever this character happens to be. I'm digging this armor. I think this was a good, not only fashion choice, but just a good choice in general. For using Assassin's Gamba. Alright, let's burn some shit. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Absolutely. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. See, the thing, chat, that you might not know about me is I'm always rooting for the anti hero. <laughs> Only when I'm playing this character, though. <clears throat> I honestly think we have a really good shot at getting to the DLC next stream. Because we don't have that many bosses left. And I don't need Shard of Alexander... ...for this build. I might grab it anyway in case I decide to use one of the weapons from the DLC in addition to the staff. It took a while, but we got here. The one who walks alongside Flay shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. So, Ferrum, crumbling Ferramazula should not take that long. Are you always rooting for the anti-hero too, Marmite? <laughs> I know Tay Tay is. Or at least that's, that's a claim that she has made in her music.
I think the only boss here that's going to give us any difficulty is going to be Placidious Axe. And I'm after killing Melania in under 10 tries, I think I think we're going to be okay. Speaking of which, I still need to see the Deadpool movie. By the way, the first time I saw this, I was blown away. This place is fucking incredible to look at. All right, I should have been charging. I should have been charging. <laughs> Didn't. No, it just, it looks incredible. That's not a good sign. We're not one-shotting these guys. You gotta remember, chat, <clears throat> this is my first FromSoft game. And I know that, like, they're kind of known for their scenery and their bosses, but, like, Experiencing this game all the way through and then seeing this, like, I, I was, my mind was blown. I'm not gonna lie. Every new area that I entered in Elden Ring just kept me going. Because of just how visually impressive it is and how fun killing the bosses is. Like, it's such a great formula. We're not gonna kill this dragon. He's not on our list. We are gonna get really close to him, though. How quickly can we get through here without dying a lot? Oh yeah. That's why I have this. Damn it. Reset. Okay. Honestly, these runes just don't matter. Here's another bell bearing. That I will pick up. Ooh, I think it's this. You jump over here. Let me go ahead and reapply Assassin's Gamba. Seems like you have quite quite the commute. Um Okay, there it is. I got lost there for a second. Okay. 
We're really close to the godskins. We're actually going to kill some of these clean rots. Uh, no, these aren't clean rots. These are, uh, I don't know what they are. They're knights of some kind, but we are going to kill them. They look very similar to the ones that Nial spawns. Or summons. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh fuck, I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. This is probably gonna be a death. Got greedy. So I went back to hit that summoning sign. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it slower and safer. We're just gonna kill these guys so that we can get the double summon. Y'all don't blame me for using the double summon on Godskins, right? Because uh, the Godskin duo fight is kind of annoying. I don't have any frost pots, and I don't want to make any. So we're gonna play- we're gonna slow play this just a little bit. How many tries did it take you to kill Plasti? Shit. How many attempts? Down the stairs. See, I didn't have to like aggro all those fucking guys. You haven't found him? Well, I'm gonna show you where he's at here in just a little bit. Okay, so I can buff, so we're we're even in better shape than I thought. Look at this guy, he's not even doing anything. Oh, 
The boy wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> No faith. There we go. All right, that 70k doesn't exist. Oh, shh. I'm just rushing here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we have killed the Godskin duo. Which brings us up to 160. Actually, I think I'm going to end up killing these guys here. This is probably the safer way to play this. <laughs> you think many things about me, but you have no idea. Sorry, that, that was terrible. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I, I try... Sometimes I can do accents. For one of my uh, campaigns that I played in d and I did it... Uh, I did an Irish accent. It was really bad. I guess Assassin's Gambit was still up, and that's why it took him forever to get aggroed. Okay, we're not doing the the gamer jump, because I'm not good at it. That's why we went that way. You know, with Assassin's Gambit up, we are one-shotting these guys, because they can't see us. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck. I can barely do my own accent sometimes, to be honest. I feel like there should be another guy over here. If I have the keys, I'll do it. I don't. Okay, that's fine. We're not doing a new game plus anyway. And I can always come back here if I need to. Okay, why is my brain dying? I'm lost. I did not have this issue earlier. I think I want to go that way? Shit. Bad. Really bad.
Ooh, another ancient dragon stone. Hate being lost. That is instant death, and that's not where I want to go anyway. It's where I came from. I want to be... I want to jump that over there. So I must have been in the right spot, I just wasn't looking correctly. I can't make that jump. Maybe I don't want to be up here. Okay, let's go down and try. I think that's my mistake. <laughs> I'm not- I'm trying to kill the bosses as fast as I can. Okay, here we- there we go. It's just one of those- I mean, there's probably a way to get into there. It's just one of those obscure things. Alright, we're- we're back on track now. I probably won't need that, but it's always helpful. Oh, this is by far anything- this is not- close to a speedrun at all. I wish I was that fast. But that takes time and skill. <laughs> Neither of which I really have. That is true, and, and usually my casual playthroughs are much, much slower. I think I have maybe close to 34 hours on this character now. Casual playthroughs tend to be like a hundred on a game like this. Or more. Okay, we don't need anything there. Alright, let's see how many attempts this takes. Come on, I know there's a bird here. By the way, this dragon is not on our list. Wow, he just blocked the whole fucking bridge. That was... That was clever. Uh, excuse me? I got no quarrel with you. Be careful here, so you don't have to run all the way back. It's happened before. Which thing? That beast or the dragon? Because I'm sure you took the time to fight it. I mean, I did in one of my earlier playthroughs. I definitely did. Nice combo, bro. The use of lightning in a water room, it's... it's smart. Very smart.
If we don't, we're really close to having all of the bell bearings. So Chris, remember the- I was telling you about having to run back to Placidious Axe? This is the run back. We're gonna hit this Grace and then we're gonna backtrack to him. I have 102k runes. Can I get a level? How close are we to a level? Forty-six? For, call it forty-seven? Mm. Whatever. I'm gonna go over, I don't care. Because we are almost certainly gonna lose these runes, the ones that are left over. Oh, it's only 3k? Yeah, that's... that's nothing. Okay. Here we go. Heading to Plassey. Here's the pro strat. Always send the elevator back up. There should have been a stake of America down here. There really should have been. But watch the cutscene the first time. There's only one move that I'm scared of in this fight, with this build. And my guess is we're probably going to die to it a couple of times, maybe. My palms are sweaty again. This is- this fight, it really is no joke. It's not as hard as Melania, but it's still no joke. Lesson number one, don't stand in the lightning. How'd you get trapped in this arena? Like the, the end, uh, the grace didn't spawn 
at the very end. This walk back gives you time to think about your life choices. That sucks. How did you have? What would you even do? Did, did restarting the game help? All right, we stance broke him, that's good. Bad. I don't think that should have hit me. I disagree. That move, this move. Hey, Shadows. Oh. Mistakes were made. I'm thinking we're... See, normally I like to use to break stance with the... Uh with Rock Sling. I'm thinking that's not the play. Let, let's try it with just Night Comet.
And to be honest, I don't know what to do with the laser eye move, other than just, like, dodge and hope it doesn't hit me. Shit. Damn it, I'm dead. <sighs> that casting time, it's a, uh, it's a thing. So imagine calling the elevator back every time. This is why we send it up. I would definitely want this one as a Pokemon. This is one of the bigger dragons in the game. Oh yeah. I've only had, what, four temps, maybe? Because it takes forever to run back to him? Unexpected. That sucks. Oh, this move? Fuck you. I survived it? Oh, 
Oh, come on, you... See you later, Dilute. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> All right, a level well earned. We need 30k. We're gonna do it. I know I have a 31 a 30k in here. Excellent. Okay. So now we can throw in Hal of Shabiri also. So let's go ahead and do that. Hal of Shabiri. Golden Vow. Then we want... I'm not using the ground buff at all. So Night Comet. Rock Sling. I guess, I guess Night Comet is just the play. Like, not working, because the rocks don't do as much damage as Night Comet does on this build. So obviously that was the play. That's one of the things about this boss that kind of makes him annoying, but we're good. Okay, so that was Plassey. Dragon Lord, Placidious Axe. Alright, up next is the Beast Clergyman and Malekith. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember which one of these is correct. Oh no, it's the, the stairs. It's the stairs. It's this one. Beside the Great Bridge. He's not on our list, but he's kind of annoying to go around. What was that? Killing this motherfucker. You know what?
That is definitely a damage buff. But buff. Holy. There's your malformed dragon greaves. All right, we are gonna reset because I need that flask for this fight. He will not respawn though. It's a damage boof. <laughs> a pretty decent boof. Dung Eater did literally nothing. Literally nothing. Still my favorite puppet. Well, second. I guess we could level up Tish. Tish is actually pretty good for this fight because Tish just goes after it. For the most part. <sighs> we'll give Dung Eater a couple tries. Honestly, my damage is so good here. I just need to avoid getting hit. I'll be fine. Every time. Thing is, you don't want to be on this bridge when he charges in. The damage is there. It looks painful, right? <laughs> no. Now, if this boy focuses the dung eater, we'll be all right.
Where's my puppet? Where's my puppet? Okay. Fuck. He was one shot away. Hey, Parma, how's it going? <sighs> See, what happened is the cutscene threw me off. And, uh... <laughs> well, we're glad you're doing better, Parmo. Mental health wobbles definitely suck. Get in there. Go. Go. Any day now, bro. Any day. That went way further than I was expecting. <laughs> it's good to have you here, though, Parmo. That is why when I see someone that I haven't seen them for a while, I never say things like, hey, where you been? Because I don't want to put them in that awkward position. All I say is, it's good to see you. Alright, I know we're running a little over four hours. But what I, I want to do is I want to get Gideon. I don't know if I'll have time for Godfrey. Maybe? He's done. No, he, he, the boss fight's over. He's got two forms. The room of death is unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. So we're up to 162. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorn. The only bosses we have left in the main game are Godfrey, Sir Gideon, and Radagon. So I'm thinking... Farewell. I know I'm running over, I don't care. I'm, I think I'm going to take out Sir Gideon and Godfrey. 
And then we'll probably call it, because that really puts us in a good position to do the DLC next time. Now we're getting ready to get dropped into the Ashen Capital here. Uh, I have played the DLC off stream. I have killed... So I've gotten... I've killed every boss except for like five of them, including the final boss. I've gotten to the final boss's boss door, but I have not attempted to fight him yet. Yeah, we're, we're going to go a little bit long today. It's all good though, right? Honestly, we're so close to the end of the game now. Like, we just might as well. Okay. Vigor is good. Mind is good. Although getting it to 40 is also pretty good. Endurance... I think I'm going to start leveling Endurance. Strength is fine, unless I decide to go for a different sword at some point, like Moonveil. I guess I could... I could level this up to 12. Dexterity is fine. Intelligence is really good. And Faith and Arcane are fine. So I'm thinking... I just want health? Yeah, let's just... You know what, let's just take this up to 60. And we can level Endurance while we're doing it, so we'll do like some Vigor, some Endurance. I didn't do it. <laughs> it was all Melina. This is her fault. Speaking of which, I haven't used a rune arc in a hot minute. I might pop one just for Gideon. Because <laughs> everyone hates their Gideon. Okay. Hopefully we do this on the first one. If not, it will make the fight harder. Ah, oh, fuck me. It's a waste of flasks. Surely Dungy won't aggro him instantly, right? What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. Speech has lasted longer than the fight. <laughs> oh man, that's good. You took him down quick, definitely. And he thought he could be Elden Lord. He was seriously wrong. Alright, there's another Grace over here. At which point we're going to update the list. Oh yeah, after the other fights, like, Gideon goes really quick. Honestly, Godfrey shouldn't be too hard with this build.
All right, we'll check and see if we can level. We can. All right, we'll go up to 42 vigor. Let's see, that was... <laughs> that was Sir Gideon. So we're up to 163. Save it. I know how you feel, Shadows. I'm actually trying to hold my tongue. Is Hello, can I walk? Thank you. I'm trying not to drop the C-bomb on stream. I'll say other stuff, though. I have auto moderation on just because I knew that it, if at some point we got a bunch of viewers in here, it'd be an issue. I'm not worried about you though, Shadows. Okay. This might take more than one attempt. Not gonna lie. See, the rate of madness buildup doesn't seem consistent. Oops. I'm doing stuff out of order now. See you next Tuesday. I like that. See, you're from across the pond, though. Across the pond, see you next Tuesday isn't as big of a deal. A long while, Morgo. And honestly, I don't care. Like, it doesn't offend me. I just, you know, I'm not going to say it on stream. Long and hard didst thou fight. I remember one time one of my female co workers. She got really upset with uh, our boss, and she used that word to refer to her, and we all, like, were kind of shocked for a second, and then we all busted out laughing. It was great. Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey. The first. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Glad we got that off. Some damage. Now, we can get insta-killed here, so we have to be careful. That will be all. Thou didst me good service. Sirosh. How can you tell from the name? Don't dox yourself, though. I'm just curious. Because in my head, I hear it in a Latin way. Like, I say Marmite, but in my head, I'm hearing Marmite, which... <laughs> 
I, I purposely say Marmite and not Marmite. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's a food. Gotcha. Now I fight just horror, Lou. Warrior! He might insta kill us. He's very aggressive in this form. I was trying to jump. I knew it was coming. That was a good chunk of runes, too. Yeah, we'll just double dump into Vigor. Why not? He missed. If he had hit me, he would have gotten me, but he missed. Okay, let me let me update my list. So we officially have one, only one boss left in the main game. If I were to kill Elden Beast, I don't think you have to hit the um the the dealie to send it into the DLC because if I did that, that would be a, a just a travesty. I, I don't want to do that. Honestly, I don't even want to risk it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to risk it. So I think I'm... I'll come back to Elden Beast. I think I'm gonna get the DLC started. We'll hit the first grace and then we'll call it there. So yeah, we are 164 bosses down in the main game out of 165. And one, it's 165, 166. You beat Radagon and then you beat Elden Beast. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the DLC started. Like I said, we're going to find the first grace, and then we're going to call the stream. And I have to be in the right place. That's got to be at the Cocoon of the Imperium. So, I mean, for the most part, we have finished the main game. All right, uh, I'm going to skip the dialogue to avoid spoilers for anyone. I've seen it before, and honestly, if you're really interested in what he's saying, just watch the stream later and just pause. Ah, I'm Leda. Touch the way to the realm. I can pick like us. If you can find... I will not be... I will not be... Okay, we're good. By the way, there is no... There's no cutscene leading into the DLC. He just takes you right in. But we made it. We made it, chat. We made it all the way to the DLC. Look at how gorgeous this area is. And this place is fucking huge. The DLC is wild. Yes, there's another tree. There is another tree. All right. Let me, uh... We're gonna call it there. So let me show you what I got here. 
So these are all the bosses from the main game. The only one that we have left is Radagon Elden Beast. And then these are all the DLC bosses. There's there's a whole bunch of them. There's uh 41, 42. I think if you count the Tree Sentinel duo separately, it's 42, but I, I kind of put them together, so it's 41. Oh, there's way more than two trees. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I went a little long, but we got set up for the DLC. So next stream or next time I played Elden Ring on stream, we're going to do the DLC or we'll start it. There's a lot. It. It's a big, big chunk of game, so we've got a lot to go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you next time.